So everybody's shown you guys a bunch of showcases about Acheron, but no one's actually taught you guys how to pilot these Acheron teams or in fact, why they work the way that they do. I guess the guides technically count for that, but some of y'all are still asking questions. So in today's video, I'm pretty much gonna show you how to pilot every single Acheron team or at least the main important ones. Okay, boys, so we're gonna run through what would be the zero cycle as long as I don't get cut. <laughs> but point being is that I wanna show y'all this particular team, which I'm sure you've seen this from I Win to Lose. But there's a couple different variations of this and i've noticed this only happens when you don't get blitz now it's easier to say this without like i don't know uh sam in the picture sam is a monster i, I still cannot zero cycle sam maybe we can do it with this team I, I doubt it but point being is that uh do i hit one mil right here i feel like oh this is close that's one mil sorry <laughs> I'm barely away from one mil. All right, bro. If I would have hit one mil, they'd be dead, but it's okay because I still get the rest of my turn. The, the whole purpose is just not take a bunch of damage, right? If I don't take a bunch of damage here, I should normally be okay. I think we should be fine here. I should have. Oh, no. I was supposed to use Pela's ult right there in order to get everything back, but it's okay. We can we can still make this work. Pela gets a turn again, so it should be fine. But my Pela is on the win set which is something different, right? I know we talk about like the Pela win set stuff all the time, but uh, having Pela on win set would have allowed me to basically jump her up in the event, something uh, something I needed to get, which was a defense drop. But we might be okay. We got double defense drop here. This should be triple. There we go. Okay, and I'm not capped out just yet. What do you have, Yang Chi? My boy has negative attack. We love to see it. Uh, Let's see, let's see. All damage resists. We love to see it. Oh, we got ether code on him too, and then double defense. So he's still got the 50% defense reduction. So I'm gonna pop this. I don't think I hit one mil on him though. Not without swords. Swords inflate numbers like crazy, but if I can get him, there we go. I was gonna say, if I can get him lower than 50%, we will be good. And then this right here, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, he's dead. He's dead. As long as I don't get cut. Now, here, you see, guys, look at the look at the, the top left. I'm fast. Look at the top left, bro. Why does he have this? Why is he allowed to have this, man? My guy's like, yeah, I'm gonna put my swords in between one character and then another character. There's no reason all four swords should have such varying speed differences that I have to worry about this. Then Yang Ching gets another turn. Stop, please, please. Don't kill this fucking silver. Thankfully, I don't need silver, but like, you didn't have to do that. Actually, I might have needed silver. Oh my, I I think no, he's dead. It doesn't matter. He's gone. Die. I needed silver in case I you see how I had like eight left over. I needed silver just in case I could get it. But point being is that it's fine. Let me show you the team. How I want to go over this team is basically the same way that I would do anything else, right? My sparkle is not 160, but she is rocking the full messenger as well as the broken kill to increase my crit rate. Yeah, the light cone doesn't uh, necessarily matter. Obviously, this helps me achieve certain things. And I know that a lot of my players, especially free to play, which by the way, guys, I have a free to play account. We were streaming it. I don't know if you've seen it yet. If you were in the stream, you saw it. If not, then I'm working on it. I don't know if I got Acheron yet. This is pre-recorded, but I know that I'm going to be streaming the free-to-play account later on today. I don't have Sparkle. I skipped out on Sparkle. Um, we're going to be shooting for a different character to kind of properly clump the account, but it's basically going to be an Acheron account. Now, these three, right? Acheron, Silver, and Pela. I needed to test these extensively while I had the time to do so now before going to my free-to-play account because these are going to be the primary three units that I use on that free to play account. And I'm aiming for a build like this about 4K attack, 70 ish crit rate, and then 200 and uh, 200, one somewhere between 180 to 220 crit damage is what I'm looking for. And so uh, I'm going for the light cone as well, but we can rock with good night sleep well. You don't need this light cone. GNSW is a very solid option for this light cone. And in fact, I'm pretty positive it's still zero cycles. I know it's still zero cycles. I don't know if it still hits a million, but we'll see about that. The only thing here. That you're going to want to look at is whether or not you're running attack or or lightning damage boost okay so lightning damage is amazing for when you're not using um someone else that's giving you the boost in my case i'm using sparkle right so if you're not using sparkle in order to give yourself a big old damage boost you're not using Branya or may to give yourself a big old damage boost then lightning damage orb does come in handy now in acheron's case because of which trace was it let me uh the abyss there we go because of this abyss right here, you're getting a 160% increase in everything that you do across the board. So she's still good, even without a lightning damage orb, and you can rock attack. Most of the people, most of the guys that you'll see will be recommending attack, but it's it's either or. It's such a negligible difference in terms of um, what brings you what. Because if I put the lightning damage orb on, for instance, I do lose about 500 attack. 
And for me personally, I'm looking for the 4K. Like I personally want the 4K, but you see my crit rate increased and my crit damage stayed the same, right? It didn't really go anywhere. And that just comes down to having certain relic options and whatnot available to you. Now, after that, I kind of want to show you guys how this team operates with a uh, more of a standard team. So I'm going to get rid of uh, Sparkle here and then we're going to go ahead and put on Gallagher. I feel like that's a little better, a little bit more easier to manage. And then we can go from there. Now, without Sparkle here, you're going to notice a, a drastic difference in damage uh, by drastic. I mean, instead of hitting one mil, I'm hitting 500 to 600, sometimes 400 really depends on the lineup here. But my uh, ideally, everything that I'm doing stays the same. The only thing that didn't happen that I would have preferred to happen in this particular run would have been Silver going to get uh getting her ultimate. If Silver would have gotten her ultimate, that would have been fantastic. But it's OK, there we go. I, I said it. Hey, man, listen, now that we have Silver's ultimate, I can basically stack on the defense drop that I would have had uh, with Sparkle without actually having it. Now, something that I didn't do that I think I should have done was actually trigger my. Oh, no, my Pioneer is already active. There we go. I was going to trigger something, but I, I didn't have it. So you see that I'm not doing anywhere near that damage that I did before, but I'm doing a little under half, right? Or a little over half since last time you guys saw the 900 instead of the 1 million. I got a little over half, almost reaching 600,000, which is still very solid. Now, this right here, do I get 80K? Ooh, 57K. That wasn't what I wanted, but it's okay. It is A-OK. -okay. I need to go ahead and save skill points now in order to keep things going. Unfortunately, I'm not going to pull that zero cycle off here because of this guy right here. Um, but I can get this with Swan. What I'm trying to show y'all is I'm trying to like limit some of these things to a two five star ish ordeal, obviously minus Sparkle because Sparkle is one of a kind, but you guys kind of get where I'm going with that. Uh, can I get my ult here? Let me see here. Yeah, I won't be able to get it. This will put me at six and then yeah, Gallagher would be able to go. That would put me at, oh my gosh. Okay. So let's not have that happen. And I need to quickly heal silver. You know what? Maybe I could have got nine actually had I broken that guy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh man. I kind of wish I did that because that would have given me wait a minute. Hold on guys. Pause. I'm doing it again. Okay. Unfortunately, different lineup, but same, same execution. Okay. Same exact execution. I'm fishing, fishing for the silver here. If we can get silver to kind of get her stuff going. That'd be awesome. Okay. We don't have silver going on <laughs> for it. <laughs> Unfort, which means that when I pop this, I will not be getting my maxed out, my maxed out nonsense. Here's what I was thinking last time, right? If I pop one of these guys, Drake should give me um, a stack. So I'm going to I'm going to split this. Normally, I would not recommend doing this because I just typically don't do it, but I'm going to split this. I'm going to hit him. That'll give me five. And then I'm going to break this guy. That should give me six. But before I do that, I'm going to hit, uh, ugh, I kind of want to hit him. I'm going to hit him with the defense drop because he doesn't have anything on him yet. And I still need to get something going. So now we can break him. That should give me seven. There we go. That's seven. This should give me eight. Even if I didn't break the guy to the far left, this will still give me eight because Gallagher's uh, special mechanic is that he gives you a debuff. Now I should be able to hit this guy. That'll give me nine. Boom. And then I get my ult. There we go. So I just got two ults in the same cycle just by looking at where my debuffs were going, how I was gonna be able to get the debuffs. And now, because I was able to do that, you see that this damage right here, boom, 570, cleared. That was a zero cycle, right? So I cleared the entire wave just by being able to get that. That's what I'm talking about when I say that if you build this team, you build the team around Akron, right? How do I play this team in a way that's gonna give me exactly what I'm looking for? Normally, and you guys saw this from my guide, I said you wanna stack up your Crimson Knots on one head. But in an event like that, that just comes from being aware, right? Like I'm, I'm socially aware. I don't know if it's social. I'm just in game, right? In game, I'm aware. But the reason you're doing that is because you want it to be able to stack as much as possible. So if it requires you to like set up the board, right? I always talk about lining up shots. If it requires you to line up a shot and then break one of these guys just so that you can get another break because breaks count as a debuff basically so that you can get that stack, then by all means, let it happen. And that's pretty much what I'm going for there. Now, right here, I'm at zero stack, so we have to build back up. Not a big deal. Yeah, I just want to lower the defenses of everybody. And in this particular case with Yang Ching, it's totally fine for me to just start spamming the crap out of my skill points just to hit Yang Ching, right? Now, Gallagher can pretty much hit anybody. It doesn't matter because Gallagher doesn't have any debuffs happening to him or happening for him right now. 
we're at five and the next string of events that i do should lead me into please don't kill silver bro like he he is doing stuff that he should not be allowed to do right now <laughs> and i'm not the biggest fan of that okay silver didn't get her ult which is very unfortunate and i kind of need to save can i get ult from Kayla? like had i gotten ult right there from the both of them i would have been able to get my ultimate from uh acheron but this will give me seven gallagher should get eight okay wait does this give it to me okay boom that's seven nice now gallagher i don't trust that he's gonna get his ultimate right here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna line this up so that this gives me eight gallagher is gonna give me uh nine and then after he does his attack that'll give me 10 basically and then i'll be able to get an ult from acheron just to be able to have more damage because this this particular run i don't know what happened here but this particular cycle with yang Qing coming in did not give me what i was looking for but that's okay 123 271 400 something 428 boom 750 oh beautiful so with that one ultimate we dropped him down 50 percent beautiful stuff beautiful stuff right there love to see it and then i still get another stack from gallagher awesome so now we have the ultimate from uh, oh my gosh bro how did you why who allows you to do that out of all the things you could have possibly done you decided that you were going to freeze freeze my acheron in her time of need that was her turn too that's the worst part about it dude because acheron would have cleaned up that would have been a straight solid one cycle right there but now that this has happened i'm not entirely too sure i'm going to get that one cycle because i need to save skill points i have to hit him here and then she has to heal and i'm just not going to be able to get my nine had i been able to do that right there though i definitely would have been able to go twice in the same cycle and then get nine you see i would have gotten two and then another two from there so unfortunately i did not get that zero but it's okay i'm just gonna clean it up here i'm not gonna let him get any more stacks nothing else is gonna happen and then we're gonna finish shop so this is basically right like this is technically a one cycle in my head right in my head canon that was a one cycle but let me go ahead and show you guys uh some of the stuff with some other characters oh and then i guess for those that might be looking right my gallagher is not level 80 so he doesn't have like max out break attack um or break effect but you do see that i have like a solid right 3500 hp over 1000 defense the attack is kind of whatever i don't really care about that too much but i would like it to go up because he does do some moderate amount of damage in the perfect world i would have all of these right i'd have crit damage crit rates high speed high defense uh around like 2500 attack and then high hp but that's a perfect world i'm not able to get that my break effect is over 100 and i do believe i'm also i think i'm still running an err rope yeah i am i'm still running an err rope so uh gallagher has a lot going for him that he's able to do that i have an outgoing healing increase right here and if you're struggling with skill points which you really shouldn't be because gallagher doesn't need to use a skill point um often at all then you don't really need the four piece on your healer set but it's fine also i'm rocking e2 for the gallagher right now and i didn't go any higher than e2 the rest of the alons are great don't get me wrong if you get them awesome the reason i stopped at e2 is simply because this one is going to be able to allow me to remove debuffs and that's what i wanted the most important thing that i wanted from gallagher was to be able to remove debuffs now the last thing that i want to show you guys here uh just to clean things up about like the whole like how to play these teams and whatnot is basically fire mc now fire mc i think i have the most fun with and i also get the most frustrated about fire mc does not need to be the character that is solely glued to taunt but taunt is such an amazing skill i love taunt on this character it just it's it's really nice but i really wish other characters had taunt on them so in fire mc's case i am able to get my ult with payload but i'm gonna risk the biscuit here and i'm gonna go for the basic attack so he hits okay he does not hit payload but you see that i got a point right i got a point for fire mc getting hit now what i'm gonna do here because there's five enemies on the field technically four because the trotter is gonna go away if this works the way that it's supposed to work which comes down to how much you know effect hit rate you have with taunt their effect resistance and then just rng at the end of the day your goal when you're playing fire mc or anyone with the trend light cone because uh fire mc should have the trend setter light cone on no i don't redo okay i'm back and now i have the trend setter light cone on my fire mc so same ordeal right well i guess not anymore uh <sighs> i you know nope i'm gonna reset it all right so the reason i reset it is so that crimson knots would fall on the sanctus medicus guy the reason i want it on sanctus medicus is because when he summons the uh the next guys they come in with arcana and they come in with a crimson knot um or not a crimson knot but a debuff which then triggers acheron stuff so that she gets one debuff but for whatever reason he gives a debuff too and i don't like that so you see how it went from eight to nine because they came in yeah i don't like that 
So now I'm overcapped. The problem with being overcapped is now I don't actually want to use taunt, but I'm going to show it to you anyway because the overcapping at this point in time doesn't matter. What I was explaining before is that you have one, two, three, four, okay? Four guys that potentially attack your Fire MC or the one with Trendsetter. The reason I love this on Fire MC for those that might be new and you just don't know, when he does this thing or when she does this thing, you will then taunt all the enemies. It has a 50% base chance of gaining one stack of the Magma Wheel with a 100% base chance to taunt all the enemies. So of course, you're gonna want a little bit of effect hit rate so that you can try and make that happen. Especially after I told you guys in the guide, they've been stealth buffing enemies so that they have more effect resistance. And because we've just been playing the game and like kind of blitzing through things, no one's really pointed that out, but it is what it is. If you have silver, you might've noticed that you're missing a lot more of your shots compared to before even if you have 70 to 90 percent effect hit rate so i'm gonna go ahead and overcap myself i'm gonna use taunt and you see that i taunted who got taunted let's go through it and let's check taunt on void ranger so that's one we got taunt on the uh sanctus medicus guy we got taunt on the trotter which doesn't matter we got taunt on the mars truck soldier and then okay so everyone got hit with taunt boom this is a perfect scenario all five of these enemies minus the trotter uh would essentially give you four stacks if they all hit you and then they get triggered with the uh, the burn from trendsetter that counts as a debuff so boom that'd be amazing in this case i'm going to go ahead and lower the defenses right here hopefully this guy hits pala he does not hit pala but you see that i got my third stack right there so now i'm overcapped. i don't have pala so i'm not going to get the big dick damage that i want and i don't want to use my skill right now because that's essentially me missing out on five stacks i don't want to lose five stacks you have to look at it with what what's worth it right getting a million ultimate damage or getting like 700 or 600 000 ultimate damage right i don't want to lose these stacks so we're just going to go for the attack right now i think this is like 400k okay a little under 400k right a little under 400k paler really mattered right there bro it's crazy but it's fine now that we're here fodder has gone this guy has the uh stuff on him now the crimson knots which means i get to six i could also do paler which will then give me to seven and just like last time with Gallagher, I can get eight in one go. Gonna do this. He's going to hit fire MC. You see that's eight. Hit him again, hit him again. Nine, baby, let's go. That's exactly what I want. Now, what I'm gonna do here in this last moment is basically clean up the board. I want to be able to build up my skill points before I pop Acheron's ultimate in the event that I'm able to take these uh, characters out, which I should be able to take these enemies out. It's looking like I can okay the trotter just bar not the trotter the horse barely lives this guy barely lives there's no reason for them to have lived any of that we're gonna take him out uh we're gonna build up stacks so that puts me at four going into the next one so we're still on a one cycle and now we have this so now i can pretty much play it the same way because i'm a little slower he's gonna summon swords i'm gonna let him summon swords right this is gonna put me at five and then i'm going to use swan swan's gonna stack up the epiphany just so that i can get my debuffs going I don't really care about the the swords taking any dot because they'll die in, in a slash anyway so it's whatever pala has the wind set so she got the jump up forward which will now put me at eight i'll be able to get this and so i need one more if they hit fire mc that's my nine but they didn't do it right now unfortunately i don't want to use taunt here the reason i don't want to use taunt here is because i still need to stack my defense uh my defense debuff which i'm gonna do with swan now that i stacked it with swan boom that's nine same thing right now i'm going to pop ult all of my stacks should be on this guy. We have the 20% all type res. We have decadence, which is the 20.8% defense reduction. I've got epiphany. I've got defense uh, snare and then expose. Now what I did, I should have done this during his turn. I genuinely should have done this during his turn because epiphany makes it so that he takes 25% extra damage, which would have turned this 611 into like a 700 something thousand, give or take, but it, it's fine. Maybe I'm able to build up another stack in the event he hits fire mc i saw him hit fire mc that was four we did get pala's ult here so i'm gonna do it again this gives me five do that six okay she did not hit resolutions on fort but i did get another stack so maybe i could do i don't think i'm gonna be able to get it here though we're gonna get taunt he resisted <laughs> my guy you are providing me with the worst showcase right now yang ching why would you do this to me and he doesn't want to hit fire mc either he is going for the blow he is going for it guys i'm not a fan of this right now he's definitely going to get taken out here but holy macaroni there's the nine okay i just want to just just so you know confirm it right let me let me get taunt effect resist again 
you know what yang ching it's time you go it's, it's time you go night night it's time you go night night big dog there's no way you affect resisting me twice this is what i mean haunt doesn't need to only be on fire mc but I have my own gripes with fire mc that i'll talk about in a little bit ultimate uh end game goal here guys when you're playing this character when you're playing acheron and i'll go over some more stuff with the team building i just wanted to like kind of put this out there on like how to play her per se and just give you guys a better understanding while i'm doing it live of what goes in uh what goes on in my head and what i'm doing to achieve like getting my stacks making sure that i'm maxing them out who's doing what i'm i'm lining up my shot right i'm planning how am I going to get my stacks? You saw that I, I sat there and I waited for a few seconds. It's like chess. I'm playing the plays ahead of time. So I know who gives me a stack. How do I get the stack? If I get fire MC taunt, this will give me a stack. If they hit fire MC, this will give me another stack, which means I can potentially get my ultimate a little earlier. Just like how you guys saw that I did with Gallagher, where with Gallagher, I was like, okay, if I break this guy and I, I just spread out my crimson knots, take that sacrifice, but I get my ultimate in the same turn, it's worth the sacrifice because the Crimson Knots are still going to do the same damage that I need them to do. So it's a little stuff like that that I really want to push forward when it comes to Acheron. I guess before we end this off, even though I know this video is a little longer, but let me just kind of break it down real quick the same way that I did in my guide. But I want to take a little bit more time here before we go into the team video that I'll give you guys separately. When I'm building the team, just real quick, I'm always thinking about who does what and how to make the most out of that. Acheron, if I'm using Acheron, and let's just say that I did not have my signature light cone and I needed to use good night sleep well because that's the you know you've been pulling the light cone you didn't get uh her signature unfortunately but you got five copies or six copies of gnsw which is amazing by the way this light cone still performs as strongly as uh the light cone does her signature in in like retrospect obviously you're not doing the same damage but you still get similar if not the same exact clears like it's it's not going from zero to one guys you should not be crying about that i don't know why people are oh my god it's a 39 percent damage difference bro you're still zero cycling you're still one cycling it doesn't matter if you weren't one cycling before and you get the light cone now you are it's fine so as i'm building acheron i know with gnsw i don't have stacks from her i'm only getting one which means she's not getting two i need to accommodate for that normally what i would be looking at is how do i make up for her not getting these stacks gallagher is situational now he gets his ultimate pretty quickly but ideally you're not using his skill to heal as often as you would be so i would more than likely change gallagher to someone like, actually i think i have the team just kind of set up already hold on boom i would just change it to trailblazer right i would change this trailblazer this would be my Acheron, and then i would call it a day silver is another good example that you could use but silver is someone that i use sparingly i use silver wolf either like purely free to play and i just happen to have silver or i'm using her when i want to implant lightning weakness uh weakness and it's a lot easier for me to do that with the element being on element if they're weak to quantum already i know that i'm gonna get lightning but seeing this rainbow i i hate rainbow silver builds right i don't like rainbow silver teams because it's 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent 25 it's just not it's not healthy for me personally so i would probably replace pela with swan the reason i'm doing this is just to help silver implant lightning a little bit easier right we can skip wind because they're weak to win i don't have to worry about that and in the event trailblazer was like a, a harmony character i guess i could skip harmony or if they were weak to quantum i could do that but as of right now it's a three uh one out of three chance to get lightning so it's a little harder now on element right now which is what i talked about in the guide i said being pala and uh swan being both on element right these uh the sanctus Mactus guys are weak to wind and they're weak to ice and then the other the horse is weak to win and then yang ching is weak to win Pela's defense drops just do what they need to anyway and then of course you're going to be able to just blitz through them and ignore the element even though they're lightning resistance uh that and that just proves to show you right i'm still popping a million damage lightning resistant enemies by the way acheron does not care and then fire mc is there to clean up shop in this team in particular basically what you would have gotten with acheron signature light cone you're able to pull off with fire mc i think like i said the big thing about fire mc that i'm not the fan of is that these shields are just abysmal i'm not the biggest fan of these shields at all applying a shield that only absorbs six percent of trailblazers defense is just it's not good it basically means you need to stack the crap out of his defense but six percent is still super small i just don't see a world where fire mc is going to be able to output i don't know seven thousand defense right and then you get six percent of that plus the 80 and then you also i think they also have a trace where yeah there we go after using the skill the damage taken by all allies reduces by 15 percent there's a lot of good in fire mc's kit but fire mc overall it just it's lacking and i really wish they had taunt as a skill 
on anyone else that was a preservation character. Maybe some new preservation characters can come out in the future and we can get taunt. I don't know, but that would be really nice to have. Ultimately though, Fire MC sucks against Sam. If anyone's able to pull that off and like a clean cycle, no one dies, please show it to me because I really want to start using Fire MC a lot. I love the taunt on Fire MC. I don't know how many times I got to repeat that. Like out of all the preservation characters I enjoy playing with Acheron, it's more than likely Fire MC. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. Uh, like I said, this is just a quick how-to on explaining everything about Acheron like more in depth than I could on my guide because I didn't want to give you guys an hour long guide, right? And then the next time that I release a video, uh, if it's not the like a showcase or the summons video, then you will see a team building video and how I go about that for Acheron. I can't say my usual outro because it's inappropriate for YouTube. If you like the video, then don't forget to subscribe. And I, I guess like, yeah, like would be appropriate there. Comment, smell you later.